Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of customer relationship management for the Magento 2 platform and in the today's video tutorial we'll be showing you how the web store owner would be able to set up the CRM from the admin backend panel apart from that we'll be showing you the different options that are there for the uh, customer management in the admin backend panel so uh, before proceeding any further let me give you a small gist regarding this particular plugin that is the uh, customer relation management for the Magento 2 platform so basically this module allows the admin to track the customer thus allowing customer engagement by recording a regular follow-up from prospective customers the module auto automates the lead generation process to acquire maximum customers apart from that both the admin and its sub users can manage the leads and can convert them into opportunities. Then the further discussion takes place and quotes are shared with the customers in opportunity, thus helping the customer to purchase a customized product at a negotiable price. So some of the highlighted features of this particular plugin are automated uh, lead generation, quick customer information management, staff management, customized product purchase, activity tracing, and lastly the generate demand option so let's get ahead and let's see how uh, we can configure this particular plugin initially after the admin has installed this particular plugin from the admin backend panel so let me go ahead and let me take you to the backend panel first so here I am at the uh, Magento 2 web store backend panel so I'll be entering my username and password and tapping the sign in button to uh, log into my account there in the admin backend panel so uh, after I've logged in uh, uh, here uh, what I need to do is I'll have to configure this module initially so for that what I'll be doing is I'll be navigating through stores and then configuration so after I've properly installed it I'll navigate through stores and then configuration and then on the configuration page uh, under the web cool block we'll just navigate to the uh, CRM settings as you can see here so right now this is just a demonstration so we have some other modules installed as well so after the successful installation of this particular plugin you'll have the CRM settings sub menu option under the uh, web cool block itself on the configuration page so just tap on the CRM settings and this would bring up the uh, configuration settings for the plugin itself so here uh, for the uh, CRM settings we have two different sections one is the uh, general settings and the other one is the email template settings so uh, let's go through the general settings uh, first and uh, let's go through each of these points one by one so the very first option that we have is the CRM admin, admin email sender name so basically the admin would have to mention his uh, name that would appear in the mails uh, from section so uh, whatever name that you entered here would be used within the emails and uh, that name would appear within the from email from section so you can set up accordingly as per your own requirement there then we have the CRM admin email here the admin will have to mention the mail ID uh, using which the mails would be shared with the customers so whichever email ID you have entered here that would be used to uh, share the emails with the customers so that would be used to send, send the emails to the customers then we have auto lead generation from wish list so basically we have uh, an automatic and a manual option for it so basically if uh, enabling of this field would allow the generation of auto leads from the websites web uh, from the websites wish list section so if you have chosen this as automatic then the uh, what we say as the uh, automatic generation of leads would be uh, would be created from the website's wish list section so for that the customer should have uh, logged into his account initially so that if there are any uh, products within the wish list then uh, using those uh, products uh, the auto lead generation from the wish list can be set up and the other one is the manual one then we have the generate lead time difference for wish list so basically however uh, we can see that the admin can set up the time duration after which the products in the wish list will become a lead for the sales team so you can set up the time frame in minutes after which uh, the leads would be generated for the sales team 
for the products that are there within the uh, wish list itself then we have the auto lead generation from abandoned cart so here we have an option for the automatic and the manual one so for the automatic we need to set up the cron same uh, goes for the automatic lead generation as well we need to set up the cron on the server for the automatic method then we have the auto lead generation for the abandoned cart we can choose it as a, a automatic or a manual one so the admin can enable this particular option if the lead generation will uh, take place from the uh, customer abandoned cart so if a customer abandons a cart at that time auto lead generation would be created if automatic uh, selection has been set up otherwise the admin would have to set that up manually then we have the generate lead time difference for the cart so additionally uh, the admin can define the time difference after which the products in the abandoned cart will be a part of the lead for the sales team so this is the time in minutes after which the uh, uh, leads would be generated for the sales time uh, for the abandoned cart after that we have the auto lead generation from contact form so here you can choose a yes or a no so by choosing a yes this field would enable the admin to auto convert the contact information to lead so if uh, the admin has chosen a yes for that and a customer comes uh, in and uh, generates uh, a query from the uh, contact form at that time that customer would be converted uh, into a lead automatically otherwise if he won't if we select this option as a no and lastly uh, under the email template uh, settings here the admin can set up the quotation email and the CRM agent account creation email so for the quotation email uh, here the admin can select the mail template for the quotation uh, which the customer receives via the uh, customer uh, relationship management system so here the admin can choose the quotation email so we have already provided one that's the CRM code email template so we'll choose that then we have the CRM agent account creation email so here we need to select the uh, email template that would be used for sending the emails to the agents whenever uh, an agent account is created by the admin himself so that were the uh, basic uh, settings for the uh, what we say as the uh, customer relationship management uh, for the Magento to do plugin from the admin backend panel and uh, so uh, let me uh, now show you how the admin would be able to manage the users uh, from the admin backend panel so uh, for that what I'll do is I'll navigate through uh, the option that is CRM management and uh, here we have the CRM management so after the successful installation of this particular uh, module on the si admin side and panel you'll find the CRM management option so tapping that up brings up uh, around uh, six uh, sub menu options so we will go through each of them one by one so first we'll do the user management so let me open the user management uh, section first by tap by opening this particular user management sub option in another window here so uh, as we know that these two owners can never manage the multiple leads on their own if uh, their business structure is too large for this the admin just needs to navigate to the user management section so as to manage the uh, users so here the admin can create new users by tapping the add new user button on the right hand top side who can manage the CRM system so uh, basically here right now I've added one uh, user already and from the actions drop down the admin can also delete any of the users he can make use of the filters to search using the username ID first name last name and email to search the added users so uh, the user management basically involves the creation of new users or editing the information of the existing ones so uh, let me tap here on the add new user button to add a new user so here I'm at the uh, create user section so here the admin needs to enter the information for the uh, new user to be created or the agent to be created we will be setting in the username uh, for the uh, for the agent the first name the last name for the agent his email address his job title phone number fax address city state postal code password will confirm his password we will set the account as active or inactive and lastly we'll be entering the admin use uh, admin password here so as to save this particular uh, new uh, 
user uh, that is the agent himself and after this uh, the email address that you would have entered here uh, within this particular field that's the uh, uh, that's the email here and email would be sent out uh, on that particular email containing the username and password information for that particular agent so after that just tap on the save user to save the particular user and you'll be able to see that user being added under the create under the uh, under the user uh, under the user section uh, for the CRM management so you'll find that user within uh, uh, this CRM management and then user management so here you'll find all of the created users now uh, here you can see that uh, we have already added one so you can edit the user by tapping the edit user link under the actions column so uh, in today's video rule, I have just shown you how uh, how the different options appear to the admin in the backend panel for the CRM management itself. And apart from that, I have shown you the configuration settings that are required before making the use of this plugin. And uh, lastly, I showed you how the admin would be able to add the users or the agents from the admin backend panel under the uh, under the CRM uh, management options. So uh, in today's video tutorial, that's much and in the next video tutorial, I'll be showing you the rest of the uh, workflow that is there and I'll be show you, showing you the complete flow of the uh, customer relationship management for the Magento 2 platform uh, there. So uh, thanks for watching this particular video today and I hope it helped you out somewhat. So uh, if you have any questions or queries regarding this particular plugin, then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.ubidus.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead.